Hello, my name is Gordon Lee. I'm currently a sophomore at City College in New York. And today we're going to be learning about the Trost Dam that occurred in 1982. So what is the Trost Dam? The Trost Dam is located in the province of Valencia in the southeast corner of the Spain near the Mediterranean coast. You know, failure of Torres Dam on the Jokar River near Valencia in 1982 was one of the most important local natural disasters in the 20th century in Spain. So, the construction of the original Torres Dam was first started in 1958 and was ultimately envisioned as a 465 foot tall concrete dam. However, the discovery of the two faults along the river bend forced engineers to stop the first phase of the construction in 1964 and reevaluate the design. So, in this picture, you can see that the white dam is, is pretty much broken with. Um, with water going through, connecting each part of the water, you can see that it's not a fully a whole dam. It cannot it cannot stop water from passing through. In this picture, um, you can see that during back in the time, during 1980, the water was very was very dirty. As you can see from the color of the water, it is. Um, like yellowish. So what happened? So what? Why are we talking about the Taurus Dam? The Taurus Dam failed only, um, only four years after the completion of the original construction in 1982, when an intense storm fell during a heavy rain event. Delivered 22 inches of precipitation, or about the equivalent of an average total annual rainfall within a 24 hour period. So, in, 19, in 1982, basically, a huge rainstorm um, went down and then and it gave up, up to 22 inches of rain, which is about almost two feet in such a short period of time in the 24 hour period so this is very bad because maybe that when they were constructing the dam they probably didn't think that this much rain can cause damage to the dam the death toll of 25 would have been great much greater and not a local dam manager anticipated the failure and alerted mayors of the Killer before it actually occurred. So thank God that the death toll was only 25. It would, it would have been a lot more if a um, local dam manager didn't see the future of the rainfall and see what kind of damage it can cause in this path of the rainfall. So thankfully, um, the the manager saw that this dam can cause um, the rainstorm can cause damage on the rainstorm so which is why um, the manager alerted the local uh, local reinforced local, uh, local uh, law enforcement to evacuate the area before things get worse the tourist dam failure occurred a week before the first democratic election in Spain after the Franco dictation so right before the, the election, this dam really occurred. So this can cause many problems. Because this can go into um, it, it can hurt the election because people may be voting or people people. Um, this could be a topic that the election may be discussing to see how what kind of rebuild that could take place.
So while the overtopping and the failure to dam could largely be attributed to the inadequate roadway design capacity, additional adverse factors contributed to this overtopping failure. So not only did the rainstorm uh, affect the dam completely, other factors took in place, such as the dam could not hold a certain amount of water. It was not strong enough. Maybe the wind was too high and it caused the damage to the dam. It was not stable enough. The dam failure led to a devastating flooding, economic and environmental damage. Evacuation of roughly 100,000 people and direct consequential impact to roughly 300 people thousand people and eight li lost lives directly attributed to the dam failure. So besides the rainstorm itself, the dam failure cost alone eight people. So this is going to be caused by the dam not be stable or the capacity may not be able to hold a certain amount of water. This dam caused a lot of flooding to people's homes and also it caused a lot of economic damage because people's homes were destroyed. So when their homes are destroyed, they will have to remake, rebuild, such as uh, we can see in, in our US history, such as Hurricane Sandy, people are still rebuilding from Hurricane Sandy because of the flooding. There are many lessons that I learned from this failure. One of the things now that they consider when rebuilding is to include a uniform zone or fill embankment across section across the entire dam length with no abrupt material changes. So in other words is that when building the dam, they must see um they must not change any material. Um, when they're building the dam and you also must consider the cross section across the whole dam to allow to see the material that are being built um, see what kind of reinforcement they may use another lesson they learned is that regular operations maintenance and inspection of dam is important to the early detection and prevention of dam failure so um, in other words is that when we finish building the dam, they must have a lot of maintenance uh, inspection when, when and after building the dam to make sure that there will be no problem, no future problems that can cause a dam failure. High and significant hazard dams should be de designed to pass the appropriate desired flood dams constructed prior to the availability to our extreme rainfall data should be assessed to make sure they have adequate spillway capacity. So in other words, is that the dam must be able to carry a certain load such as, such as um, water. So in conclusion, Though the dam failure would generally regret a boat event, significant change in dam safety standards, emergency communication, and risk management were born out of the experience they have and will continue to shape flood management policies and strategies in Spain throughout the European Union. So, this dam failure allows the government to see what kind of problems they must fix and help the engineers to make sure that none of this problems will happen ever again. There was a lot of lessons learned from this failure and it was and in order to make sure it doesn't happen again, they will uh, use different techniques. Thank you.